Hi, Anthony. Thank you for sharing your experience in China. Very interesting. So I would just like to ask you, what about intellectual property in China? Have you managed to protect it? And was that easy? Um, so in terms of IP, so we filed a patent um, and it wasn't more difficult or more complicated than getting the patent in the US or Europe. Um, now, there's all, all, also always this fear that, hey, it's China, they're going to steal the IP. Um, and uh, if you're really, if you have a patent over there, um, and you have a very successful product, um, somebody's going to try to copy it one way or another. So actually the best way to protect it is partner with somebody in China because you're going to have to do that in any case. And they're going to make sure that your IP is well protected against any copycats. Um, mm -hmm. I think also th there was a presentation by the Swiss uh, Institute of Intellectual Property where basically they said, um, China is taking IP very seriously because they're actually filing the most patents right now. So they take IP law very seriously um, because they want it to be res their IP to be respected elsewhere in the world. If they're not respecting it, uh, the, the whole system falls apart. So, it, and then when you looked at the litigations that were happening for IP infringement of foreign companies against a Chinese company, the foreign companies were winning 90% of those cases. Mm. Okay. So, uh, but the word of caution actually, I, I think it really comes down is uh, when you're locally present over there, and, and, and that's going to be everywhere. It's not just in China, but in the US. It's actually more coming from your employees themselves that they learn everything working at, at, at your, your company, and then when they leave, they take all that knowledge somewhere else. That's actually the, the number one uh, uh, risk factor. Okay, thank you.